Hey everyone, you have made it to Marquita LV Luxury Sky Box, okay? <laughs> Anyways, before you guys, hey, 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 your girl is back. Hey everyone, it's Marquita with Marquita LV Luxury. On today, we are going to explore inside of my closet. I am going to speak on some handbags that I'm not going to say regret, but I would not purchase again. And also for those that are looking to purchase, first time buyers, I am going to go over handbags that are under $2,000 and I have them right here in my collection. Hopefully I can be of some help. But before we get started, make sure you view my past videos, like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend how much fun we have over here. Don't forget to visit your girl on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury. Now that we have that out the way, you guys know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine or some tea and a light snack, hurry back so we can get started. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Hope you know what you want. you have made it to marquita lv luxury sky box okay <laughs> anyways before you guys ask i purchased these bling door handles from amazon if you are interested just let me know so come right on in i am going to start with my classics okay here in the bag no regrets i will honestly purchase these again i love my little trifecta you guys know the love hate relationship that i have already with this print the damier azure but i actually love the speedy i had to try it i fell in love so no regrets at all love these and guess what they are under two thousand dollars first time buyers if you are seeking a handbag under two thousand dollars that you can use every day i will honestly go for the damier bean because no bachetta is carefree but again any print will work under two thousand dollars I have no regrets on my beautiful Nano Speedy. Of course, I had to cut the strap. I love having it in my collection. It does hold quite a bit, guys. You have to try it. Of course, they just launched, I believe, like a year or two ago, the new Nano Speedy. But I have the OG, and I love having it in my collection. No regrets at all. Now, when we get into the Speedy 20 yes it's over two thousand dollars i would say all together with purchasing you will walk away paying like a little bit over 20 what 2200 i'm not sure i don't remember okay so as of right now it's two thousand thirty dollars on the website so you calculate it you add the tax but again it's it's not as much as these other handbags okay so i would say you will spend about two thousand two hundred dollars I don't know you check it out yourself but again no regrets these right here i will honestly purchase again okay moving on guys when we start getting into the unprompt leather of course it's not going to be in that two thousand dollar range it's going to be more but this is a speedy 25 bandolier wild at heart i love having this in my collection you cannot go wrong with a speedy bandolier i don't care what size in the unprompt leather Again, it's going to be more than $2,000, but it is going to be worth it. This is such a carefree handbag. You do not have to baby it. You don't have to spray it with Apple Guard. Just live. Just live. Just live wild. Wild at heart. Okay, so I absolutely love having this in my collection. And you guys know how I feel about the beautiful Cognac Speedy. It's hard to find. So if you have it, hold on to it. No regrets. I will honestly purchase this over and over and over again. I don't care how many times. This is going to be hard to find. I told you guys this. But hey, go out. Hopefully you can find it for a decent price. Please don't expect to pay under $2,000 for an unprunt leather anything I don't even I don't know what's under $2,000 that's unprunt leather. But again, no regrets. I love having it in my collection. And we are now going to move up a little bit further and then we are going to move on to the next collection. 
I had to reach for my grabber. Of course, I am a shorty. I'm 5'4", and you guys know how I feel about my denim speedy. Of course, I would purchase this again. This is another handbag that is over $2,000, but again, it is worth it. I do have the mules to match, and I love having this in my collection. So, no regrets here. I would purchase again. And the bicolor speedy. I love having this in my collection, but I wouldn't purchase this again. I also have the bicolor in the on the go toe in the MM size. I love the bicolor. I think it's basically like a boss move, even having this in your collection, but there's no need for me to have both. I, I don't need the on the go tote and I don't need the speedy 25 bandolier. Yes, they are two different design handbags same print but there's no need for it. so this is a handbag that i wouldn't purchase again i've been having this for a year now or a little bit over a year and honestly just being truthful i have not used this handbag i fell in love because i saw it in the gallery i saw it in the store i tried it on and i fell in love and so i purchased it so that's the story i didn't make it up but again i would not purchase this again and if you are interested you will not find this under two thousand dollars not on the website you won't even find it under two thousand dollars on the consignment shop okay just sharing now going to my speedy 30s this beautiful i call it the teddy speedy 30 bandolier i purchased because it was beautiful and honestly i fell for it my ca sent me a picture and i couldn't turn it down the strap is my favorite part because it's another monogram strap that i have in my collection i'm in houston texas and i just I just look at this and see cold weather. I don't see, I see winter. I see fall, but I don't see Houston, Texas. <laughs> I don't see Houston, Texas. But again, I am going to try to get this out because my CA told me to hold on to it, that it is going to be worth some money later. So that's exactly what I am going to do. But again, I love how they just have the pink flowers added to the front. This is on front leather as well. And I love the monogram trimming on this handbag. So this is the Speedy 30. If I had the opportunity, no, I would not purchase again. But now that I have it in my collection, at this point, there's nothing I can do unless I sell it. But I'm going to hold on to it. So I am blessed just to have it. And, I, and I'm going to just hold on to it like my CA told me. I'm going to follow directions, okay? I'm going to be smart about it. Next is, honestly, my favorite Speedy 30. It's only two that I have. And, of course, it's going to be the reverse monogram being my favorite. I love having this in my collection. And there's no way in this I'm telling you, in this world, that I would have moved on until I had this in my collection. So the Speedy 30, I would purchase over and over and over again. Long as it's in the reverse monogram print, I am so happy to have it here. And honestly, I think I'm going to take this out this week sometime. So, again, no regrets. Of course, it's over $2,000. And finding this in the consignment shop, you are going to spend some money okay discontinued this isn't coming back finding it you can but how much you have to pay that's up to you and the consignment shop even on fashion file they even they tax a thousand dollars on fashion file but it is worth it i'm telling you now so this is the speedy 30 in reverse monogram and i would purchase again so let's move on to the next collection okay guys i just moved right along to the other side I have to do something with this collection here of handbags. I just feel like it's all over the place. I'm, I'm trying to put them where they belong. So let's just get started, okay? Because it irritates me. But this is the beautiful bum bag. As you guys can see, we're going to start here. This is discontinued. Louis Vuitton just released a new version called the High Rise Bum Bag. Everyone should know this. So this is for the newcomers coming into the community. It is under $2,000, but I have to tell you, it is hard to purchase at the moment. They do have, you know, times where they do open up the orders and then close it. You have to have a CA or if you can catch it on the website. Again, it's called the High Rise Bum Bag. I still feel the original looks better. I don't have it to compare, but I'm going to always go for the OG. That's how I feel. It's the best. And I also have the bum bag and unprunt leather guys the mini bum bag is coming out in unprunt leather as well but we will get into that later but this is discontinued and this also was under two thousand dollars you can't get it unless you go you know to the consignment shops but it's going to be over two thousand dollars so let's start with the petite sack plaque 
this is a handbag that you know it's tiny it does hold quite a bit let me turn this bag charm around and i wouldn't purchase again i'm just being honest with you if you love minis you can purchase this it is under two thousand dollars if you want a starter handbag it will hold your phone i try to put a mini pochette inside but it just kind of expanded and it made it look weird but again this is a cute small crossbody and it does come with a vachetta strap that is detachable and no it's not adjustable i had to check first i don't want to give you guys the wrong information i just store some of my straps inside but again cute small mini crossbody under two thousand dollars i wouldn't purchase again and i have her mother here okay let me put this right here and i have her mother here this is the sack plaque pm it also comes in the bb size the only regret that i have is not purchasing in the bb size yes my husband fell in love with this he told me to go for the bigger size i do hold my macbook in here and as far as like business meetings i just use it as a briefcase <laughs> it's not a briefcase but that's what i use it as and it's just a luxury you know briefcase handbag for me that's the only time i use it but again i wouldn't purchase again in this size i will go for the bb size and it does come with a monogram strap so that's a plus and like i said it's not a carefree handbag but i do make use out of it but i wouldn't purchase again and it is over two thousand dollars just being honest guys all of these are my opinions only okay and you guys know how I feel about the Dolphin. This was a bum bag turned into a bag. And I purchased this four years ago. And no, I wouldn't purchase again. This is just something that I don't reach for. And that's that. I wouldn't purchase again. Yes, I would purchase this again. And at the time, it was a little bit over $2,000. I'm not sure of the price now. I love having this in my collection. It does come with a longer strap as well if I do want to wear it as a crossbody. But I love using this as a tote. And what I find funny is that I'm not a big fan of the Neo Noé from Louis Vuitton. But I love this. I, I, don't, I don't understand it. I don't get it. Very cute. And guys, it holds both of my phones. A mini pochette you honestly will fall in love with this and i love the gold hardware very detailed i love it carefree and of course guys you know how i feel about this this is the main squeeze this is my baby you guys know how i feel about the marquita reverse monogram loop gm a lot of you guys have returned and i don't even want to hear your stories because it doesn't make sense but again I love having this in my collection. No regrets. I would purchase this over and over and over and over again. And you will too. Okay? So get it. You need it. <laughs> and here is the Fendi Sunshine Tote. I love having this in my collection. It is a boss bag. I love having this for the fall. And I showed you guys this. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't used it. It's just something with me and white bags, cream bags. I love collecting them, having them in my collection, but I don't use them. That's strange. I know it is. But I would purchase this again. Why? I don't know. Ask somebody else. <laughs> but I love having it in my collection. It is a boss bag. I have took it out basically just for pictures. It is so sexy. I love it. And I absolutely love the acrylic wood handle that they have here and no it's not real wood it's acrylic and the gold hardware so i would say purchase this it's nice it's a very very cute boss bag and it does remind me when i carry it of like the on the go tote so it is worth it in my eyes i love having it and this beauty here i told you guys i try to pronounce it over and over again and i'm not going to do it again because i don't want to butcher the name but yes this is most definitely a boss bag people say it look like a diaper bag hey i don't care i love having it in my collection i love showing it off i love when people stop me and ask about this handbag and I, it's just it's just beautiful i love the open enclosure on this handbag everything to me is perfect so again yes i would purchase can you close and listen <laughs> yes i would purchase again and this does come in other sizes and you can find this in fashion fall because i have seen it but you are going to pay some money and we are going to just move up a little bit guys and like i said i'm just going to go over just a few handbags and then probably do this day by day just to help you out okay 
okay so i had to move up just a little bit and let me tell you i receive emails all the time guys if you are trying to not spend over two thousand dollars stay with the classic prints and when i say classic prints i mean the damier bean damier azure and basically the monogram but in like the speedy 25 you can even go as high as the speedy 35 and i believe it's like a little bit over 1900 but it's still under two thousand dollars so if you want a large handbag go with the speedy 30 or the speedy 35 okay it's still under two thousand dollars and also if you can find a neverfull as well work on that the alma bb and you also have the alma pm in the classic print which is the damia eb and also the monogram as of right now no damia azure in the alma in the alma pm size but you have the alma bb but you have to find it as well so again try to stay with those classic prints and also the graceful pm and also the graceful mm so i hope that helps you guys out here i have the the boy shampoo i said i was gonna work on that as well i hope i nailed it this baby here i didn't check the price i just put it on the counter and thinking i was all that and when they told me the price i was like what over four thousand dollars for this little baby here yes and i think now it's like five thousand but i absolutely love having it in my collection no you cannot hold a phone but i would purchase it again i love that you can take this bag tag off but i leave it on comes with a vachetta strap you can wear it as a crossbody but my favorite way is as a tote absolutely love it there's an s lock that you have to get in, that you have to use to get in and out so this is just sexy this is so creative and i'm going to use this this week just holding it up made me fall in love with it and it does have gold feet at the bottom which is of course me and my husband's favorite part of having a handbag the protection this is a handbag here that is over two thousand dollars but i think for first time you know if you're a first time buyer if you want something that's creative and not just plain like the alma handbags the never for the speedies i would say go for the beautiful loop handbag they do have different colors that are out but to me i feel like there's nothing on the monogram and the vachetta and this is treated vachetta it does come with two straps an adjustable vachetta strap and also this chain strap that i also use as a necklace but you can take the um, vachetta strap put it inside like i have and preserve it and just use it as a beautiful tote so this is a handbag that you guys need to look into if you are a first time buyer and you want something out of the regular never full speedies and the armor Okay. and next of course the monogram side trunk you guys know this is one of my favorite handbags in my collection and no it's not under two thousand dollars looking like this it's not but i love having it in my collection guys and i will purchase this over and over again just as much as i love the loop gm i feel the exact same way about the lv side trunk in monogram print i love having it in my collection it holds everything that I need, all my daily essentials, and I love that it has the gold hardware feet here, the tote handle. Everything is just perfect about this handbag, okay? So, you need to purchase, and it also comes with an additional strap, and inside the microfiber material, this is a 10. This is a 10. You need this, okay? Here, I have the Montsuri BB backpack. No. I would not purchase this again i have the monsuri in the larger size which is the pm size and monogram in black leather honestly this was a pressure purchase when i say a pressure purchase this was something that my ca kept sending me she made it seem as if hey it was going to be out of stock i know the monsuri was a hot backpack when it was released but she was like marquita you already have the monogram in black this would be so cute you need this i'm telling you it's going to sell out you need this and like a fool that's exactly what i did usually when she tell me that and i purchase i'm happy with it i'm not going to say i have any regrets it's just a simple fact that i wouldn't purchase again and i would honestly say I wouldn't say not to purchase. I don't want to say that because some of you guys are backpack lovers. But I will put pick the Palm Springs Mini backpack over the Mansuri in this size. But again, hopefully I can hand this down to my daughter. 
Okay, so I had to use the reacher again because I had more handbags up there and I really want to redesign this closet. I, I'm tired of going for the reacher and the ladder. But moving on, the beautiful Palm Springs Mini in monogram and black leather. You need this in your collection. That's it. There's nothing else to talk about. They discontinue the reverse monogram. You need this. It holds so much. I love having it in my collection. There's nothing else to say. I would purchase this over and over and over again if i had to so go out and get the beautiful palm springs mini and no it's not under two thousand but i believe honestly it's affordable and it's worth it it is worth the price it's a little bit over i think twenty one hundred dollars it is available on the website and guys you can't beat it it's carefree you can use this as a tote even though it's a backpack, you can use it as a toe. You can wear it as a crossbody or, as you guys can see, it does have D-rings because it comes with two straps to where you can wear it as a backpack. And it's absolutely cute. My daughter wants this and I am not ready to pass it on to her. She has to wait. <laughs> okay, so I was just bragging on the Mansuri backpack. This is the Mansuri PM. This is the larger size and this is it. This is honestly the best backpack that I have in my collection. It is my favorite after the Palm Springs Mini. I had to make a decision, guys. I, I changed. The Palm Springs Mini is my favorite backpack. And then it's the Monsuri. I might change tomorrow. But again, carefree. No Vachetta. I don't have to worry about anything, okay? I love carrying it, and I sneak snacks in. This is another handbag with well, a backpack to where I use and I sneak snacks in and it works it's on my bag they hardly see it and I, I just go through they don't check it only thing the straps are not detachable but that's okay I wouldn't want this as a tote it's, it's fairly large but you need this in your collection and of course it's over two thousand dollars you can take this bag charm off you can add any type of bag charm that you like but here it is this is the Montessori PM carefree and i love the inside interior color up against this monogram and black leather and look at that magnetic closure you heard that guys i know you was hearing that you heard that amazing moving on and this is going to be where well, my pass is going to be last because i don't want the video to be extra long and if you guys are interested i would just keep going down my collection just let me know in the comments i'm honestly doing this to help because i'm actually going through my emails and i see you guys asking about these handbags here it is guys the odian pm and also the odian mm i'm going to be real this is the PM size. This is the smaller size in the Odeon family. And I must say, I love having it in my collection, but I use and I reach for the Odeon MM more. The Odeon MM is bigger, and you guys know how I feel about carrying my notebook. I love carrying my notebook, and it holds all of my daily essentials. It even holds my toiletry 19. And I can just see what's inside my handbag, except for it being crowded. The PM size, the MM size, I wouldn't purchase again. I wouldn't purchase the PM again, but I would purchase the MM. If I had to, I would purchase it again. The PM to me is so cute. It looks adorable as a crossbody, but the things that I just want and need for it to hold, it just doesn't hold for me. I love that it has a front pocket compartment. I love that you can take the bag charm off, and as you guys can see, I added a braided strap to use as a tote, and I absolutely love. It comes with a black leather strap that you can use as a crossbody, and it is adjustable. I hear a lot about the strap being, you know, too short for my tall divas, but again, you can always, always add a monogram strap, or you can add the monogram and black bandolier strap that I told you guys about that's adjustable. So, here is the PM size, double zipper, gold hardware. I love that, you know, they created an Odeon PM, but in this style, I'm going for the Odeon MM. Again, I would not purchase the PM again, but I would purchase the MM. I love it as a crossbody, and honestly, it used to be one of my favorites in my collection. Moving on to the last, of course, the Queen passy you know what i don't want to hear your opinions i don't want to hear why you don't like the handbag because you are making it up there's no reason for you not to like this handbag <laughs> but like i said i'm i'm open to opinions guys because that's all it is because i'm speaking facts you need this handbag in your collection 
Queen Passy. So classy, so beautiful. And no, no, quit saying this handbag looks like a replica. That's not true. Okay. I love this handbag. I love it so much. And yes, I do agree with the straps. Okay. They kind of messed up, you know, making the straps so short. But I love having this in my collection, guys. This is so beautiful. It's so classy. It's so sexy. You can dress this up. You can dress this down. I love wearing this. I told you guys with a button down white shirt. You can have jeans on. You can wear your lubes, your nude lubes. You can wear your front row sneakers from Louis Vuitton, anything. You can dress this up, dress it down, and let's not forget the beautiful inside. Look at that beautiful microfiber material. Just amazing, so beautiful. This front pocket is just made for a cell phone. You need to go out and purchase, and of course, you hear that, that magnetic, you hear that? The button, the magnetic button, it just closes automatically because it's a queen. And you also have the back compartment, here you can put your cell phone back here if you want easy access reach in take out you got it can be worn over the shoulder as a crossbody or you can convert and wear it over me or you can convert and wear it as a tote so guys i am going to just go through my collection i am going to stop here because i don't want the video to be extra long but again for those that are emailing me i hope i went over the speedies like you asked okay and I hope I went over some of my monogram and Vachetta handbags and also my monogram and black leather. I will continue day by day. But you guys let me know in the comments if you want me to go over my belts, if you want me to go over my straps as well. Also, I went over my perfume and I can also go over my bag charms and my ready to wear collection. Guys, I am just here to help. Okay. I'm here for you. As always, guys, until next video, stay safe, stay blessed. Until next time. Bye-bye.